Hi, it's me, Brad. Today I am going to show you how to use the animated height map function in the new version of Mandibulb 3D, which is version 1.9.0. I'm going to move myself down here a little bit. On Factual Forms, here is the website you can go to to get to the link for the 1.9 uh, download. Once you download it, you can open it. And right now, I just have in the first slot a uh, amazing box over here and I have Julia mode on with just the uh, default value and for this I am going to add well first of all if I do that how to add a height map basic basically it can be any uh, animated image that you want to make and I'm using this image here as my height map that I also made in Mandibulb 3D it's good to have a good um, consistency between black and white um, which helps um, figure out the depth of the image this is quite small but of course you can make it bigger and it will help with um, the image size but of course you can also adjust that within Mandibulb 3D so first of all we come over here to preferences then we click this new button it's map sequence We're going to make a new sequence. And I already have this saved. It's right here. Here's the whole sequence. You just click on the first image. You click open. And in that sequence, I had 74 images. You can increment it. That would mean that if I set this to 4, it would do every fourth image instead of every single image. Um, in some ways, that will would help um, smooth out your animation. In some ways, not. That is up to you. Here is loop which means it will repeat the uh, sequence over and over and over again. And this is our tar target map slot. This is what you would put in when you um, choose a height map. For this one, I am going to use three. So once you have that set, you hit save and exit. Then I'm going to use, let me see if I can find it here real quick, map translate. And of course, if you type in map in here, it will give you a list of all the supported formulas that support a height map, which is the map translate, a box, uh, SF fold, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a box map, SF fold, cylinder height map, height map to if, if, height map, if, and so. Pinsky height 
map. But I am not going to use those. I'm just going to delete that. Going back here to Formula 2. And I prefer doing all my work in the Navigator. So right now we don't have anything here. Somehow I have one in three. I don't want that there. I'm going to delete that. Go back to parameters. Okay. Now, based on what we have set here, target map slot three. <clears throat> We will select three here. That's for the map number. That tells us you're using the map animation from slot three. And then if you change a few of the options here, mostly the Z, Z scale, view to main you can see that it has added added a pattern to our amazing box and then down here this is important this isn't for animation but it's for um, just a preview image if you increase this to some number I'm just going to scroll up here for a little bit and also, you see it is loading the maps over here in, a, in the list as I go up. Now, if I calculate it, you see it's a different image. So, if I wanted to animate it, I'm going to just come back down here to one. If I zoom in some, actually, first of all, first hit any key keyframe, and for basic animation, you know that is will set the that picture in your animation. Then if you zoom in, without changing any settings, and then hit the any key, uh, which is animation key button again, it'll set another image in or image into the sequence. Just for an example, I'm going to preview that at a small scale here. I like JPEG just for simple previews because it's fast and easy. And as you see, we didn't touch any um, of the formulas under uh, the box or the um, translate formula. All of this movement is coming from the um, animated uh, sequence. And of course, if you loop it, just takes a moment here. And at this point, uh, while we're waiting, I would like to say cheers to Andreas for creating a, uh, updating the uh, Mandible 3D. It's a great update. I love it. Cheers, Andreas.
And of course, this is just a simple uh, demonstration. I haven't changed, you can change the colors, change the formulas. I'm going to exit this. Go to the amazing box, set the scale sum. Change some parameters, move it around some, have some fun, fun with it. Uh, Animate it again. I'm going to get rid of this. Render that, see what happens. And of course, you can control the um, speed of the animation based on the way you um, it's based on the speed of the animation. Unfortunately, you cannot adjust the speed of the animation as far as I know. And now as a side note, Of course, when you create a animation in um, Mandibulb 3D, you can't load it straight in. For this, I'm using a program called Vir Virtual uh, Dub. And what I did is, if you select the GIF, Here is the GIF again. Make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. And this is what is making all of the um, texture over here. So then if in virtual dev, if you go to file, export, image sequence you can name it you can um, pick the folder where you want it at and once you hit OK then it will create a uh, the sequence from a GIF so you can actually do this with any GIF image you have um, you just load it into virtual dub, select it, and then file export image sequence, which turn, and that is what makes the GIF uh, 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 an image sequence that you can in turn use in Mandible 3D. Um, here, let me see if I can find the quick example. Uh, it's kind of small. For this one, it's a picture of Bugs Bunny hitting a guy in the face over and over again. I actually rendered this as a height map in uh, Mandible 3D while I was testing it out. Um, just to see if I could actually use a, a regular GIF image just for fun. Um, if you uh, have any more questions, um, please let me know. Uh, and uh, for now, that this is Brad. Talk to you later. Bye.